Hey everyone, my name is Bogdan and welcome to Accurate Dicted channel, helping you to navigate in the world of automotive repairs, maintenance and reviews. Today I'll be covering spark plugs replacement for my friend Jekka's 2-liter 4-cylinder 2015 Ford Fusion Hybrid. The spark plugs are conveniently located on the top of the engine. You only need to remove one cover to expose the coils. This is a pretty straightforward procedure anyone could do. Here's a list of tools you need to complete this job. 4 new spark plugs. An 8mm socket with a small wrench. A 5 8 spark plug long socket and a half inch ratchet with a medium extension. A flat hat screwdriver. A flexible magnet tool to extract the spark plugs. Torque wrench if you want to properly torque your spark plugs. Paper towels. Decent work light. Links to everything I use are in the description. Let's roll! Because the air filter is built into the cover, you have to disconnect the air intake first by loosening this clamp and this clamp. Put it aside. Cover the intake with a paper towel so no debris and dust get in. Let's remove the top plastic cover by removing these two 8mm bolts. Now remove this flexible hose and take the cover off. Let's disconnect the ignition wiring from the coils. Now removing the bolts that secure the coils. Remove the coils and inspect them. These look good. No cracks or burn marks. Using the 5 8 socket and half inch ratchet, break the spark plugs loose. When it's easier to rotate the socket, it would be easier to rotate the extension with your hands. And take the rest out. Ok, installing the new plugs. These are the OEM plugs, which I recommend. Remember, they come pre-coated, so no need for additional lubrication. Carefully place a spark plug into the well and turn it by hand to make sure you're not cross-threading. Looks like this one is fine. Repeat for the rest three. and tighten them as you go. Done! Reinstalling the coils. Reconnect the harness connectors. Reinstall the cover. Don't forget about the flexible hose here.
secure it with two 8mm bolts here and here. Let's put the air intake back in and tighten the clamp bolts. Looks good. Let's start her up. Purrs like a cat. All done. Took me about half an hour. Remember, if I could do it, anyone can. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell buttons for more videos on this channel. And as always, drive safe, use your turn signals and remember, anything is possible with the right tools and motivation. See you next time!